Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 16 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, first off, the definition of what it means to multiply another number, or one number by another, I'm just going to read it straight to you. A number is said to multiply a number when that which is multiplied is added to itself as many times as there are units in the other, and thus some number is produced. Takes a bit of thinking. Um, don't quite know how to explain it, so um, maybe it'll make sense as I go through this proposition. So what is this proposition? Well, this proposition is basically a times b equals b times a. That's basically what we're trying to demonstrate here. So let's start with um, having c equal to a times b and d equals to b times a. And then what we're going to try do is we're going to prove that c and d are equal. Now, since c is equal to b times a, and here's where the definition of multiplication comes in, if c is equal to a times b, that means that b measures c the same number of times as the unit measures a. So again, remember this is the definition of multiplication. Now, since we have that the unit e measures a the same number of times that b measures c, according to Proposition 15 of this book, that also means that the number of times that E measures B is the same number of times that A measures C. So E to B, A to C. That's how you can remember it. So now let's look at D. So D is A multiplied by B. So again, by the definition of multiplication, that means that the unit E measures B the same number of times that A measures d. So let's just look at it visually here for a moment. The unit e measures b three times and a measures d three times. So again, that is the definition of multiplication. But let's look, we have that the unit e measures b the same number of times that it measures c and the same number of times that it measures a. So we have that D is equal to A measured B number of times and C B measured the same number of times. These two are equal. So therefore, C equals D. And that is what we were setting out to prove, that A times B is C and B times A is D. C and D are equal, which gives us that A times B equals B times A. Now, 